born in Kilmarnock in Ayrshire, but we moved away from there when I was about 10 and up to Aberdeen and then further north to Banff. And after I left school, I went to Aberdeen University for about two and a half years studying medicine. But then I changed my mind and came down to Edinburgh Art College. I graduated in 85, then did a, a postgraduate diploma in drawing and painting. And five years later, I went to Barcelona and did a master's degree. Well, I think I'd always been interested in art at school. And sculpture, I was really interested in ceramics. But I also liked science, which is why I went to do medicine. But I, I felt quite unhappy when I was there and I, and I had friends at art college and I realised that's really what I wanted to do. And uh, when I came to Edinburgh to study art, it was sculpture I wanted to do. I hadn't really painted before, but in my first year I, I discovered painting and I thought, yeah, this is definitely what I want to do. So I have abandoned all ideas of being a sculptor. But yes, art, I, I drew constantly as a child. I still draw all the time, so it's just something that's often. I have a huge, wide uh, sort of circle of influence. I like everything from medieval art, Spanish art, a lot of contemporary art, and Scottish art. But there's not really any particular group or artist that I would say I was sort of inspired by. It's much more general than that. So, how does your garden grow? That was 1989, it was just after I came back from Madrid. And although it's not a Spanish rose garden, it's actually a garden from my childhood in Kilmarnock but it's about a memory of a part of the garden that changed as we grew up from a sand pit to a rose, a rose bed. And I used rollers, it's quite it semi-abstract, so it's painted with oil, but I, I used rollers to um, cover an onset skew or some injury. I mean, I think it's great to have art around hospitals. I, luckily, I don't have to go to a hospital very often, but if I'm visiting somebody, I love seeing all the art there and I think it, it just makes people realise that the, the environment is cared for and I think it can inspire the patients and the visitors and take their minds off things. <laughs>